Hello and welcome to a new issue of Luft's online video training. Our topic today will be the external sensors which you can connect to WS sensors. There are three different external sensors which we can use with the WS sensor family. The first one is the external temperature sensor, the second one is the external precipitation sensor and the third one is the leaf wetness sensor. The first sensor will be the external temperature sensors. We will have two versions of that sensor. One is called 8160.wt and the other one 8160.wst. Uh, I will show you now the 8160.wt, which is the surface sensor. This is the sensor element here and we have here a, a, a rubber area where you can fix the sensor on the surface. We have a cleaning pad here to clean the surface before fixing it on the surface. These are the connection cables and I will show you how to connect these wires to a WS sensor now. So here we are on the cabinet. First of all, I need to inform you that uh, these external temperature sensors can be connected to all versions of the WS sensor family. But, of course, only one external sensor can be connected to a WS sensor family. So that means you can use either the external temperature sensor or the external precipitation sensor, not both together. And I will show you now how to connect this um, sensor to the WS. Normally this will be done inside a cabinet. That means that we use the WS cable to connect two wires to the external temperature sensor. The two wires from the WS sensor are here gray and pink. These are used to connect the external temperature sensor directly to the WS sensor family. And we have the two wires of the external temperature sensor here and now we will connect them with the clamps here together. One and two. So now the connection is complete and now we can go for the configuration of the external temperature sensor. So now I will show you how to configure the external temperature sensor via USB config tool on the WS sensor. So first of all, if you do not really know how to enter this manual, there is also a video available on our Luft.tv, so you can check that out and there we will explain how to go into this menu here. So after you have received this menu, you can go to WSXUMB. There you will have a menu called external sensors. Click on this and then you can switch to temperature sensor. After switching to temperature sensor you will be able to uh, insert also an offset but normally during the first installation this is not necessary. So choose the temperature sensor then of course we have to store the, this configuration on the WS uh, XUMB. So we go to main and we store the profile on sensor here with this button. After storing this configuration on the WSX, we will have the possibility now to activate the external temperature sensor channel. Close this menu. You can check that out using the channel list, double click on active channels and there you will have the possibility to activate the external temperature channels 101 and 106. Actual external temperature in Celsius degree or actual external temperature in degree Fahrenheit. 101 and 106. That's it. The 
The second sensor I will show you now is the uh, precipitation, the external precipitation sensor. This sensor can be used with all WS sensors without a uh, um, precipitation measurement, of course. And the sensor will look like this. And you can open it. And you will have the possibility to maintain the sensor and to check the tipping bucket and everything. Close it again, it's easy to close. And the connection is a normal standard UMB connection and also a standard UMB cable which will be used to connect to the WS sensor. And again we have two wires which are used to connect to the WS which are grey and pink. One last thing, we have two resolutions. We have 0.5 mm and 0.2 mm, which can be realized with the reduction ring here. With the reduction ring, we have a resolution of 0.5. Without the reduction ring, we have a resolution of 0.2. Of course, we need to configure that using the UMB config tool on the software side. Now I will show you how to connect the external precipitation sensor to the WS sensor here. Normally the connection is also here done inside a cabinet. We have two clamps. We have the original WS cable from the WS sensors and we also use grey and pink here on the clamp. And I will show you how to connect the external sensor now. Also using of course grey and we connect grey to grey here. And we connect pink to pink here. And now, on the hardware side, we have connected both sensors together. And of course, now we have to do the configuration using the UMB config tool. So, the next sensor we want to configure is the external precipitation sensor. Therefore, we can also go to the menu WSX UMB. And there we will have a menu called Ringosh. We open this. And now we will have the possibility to switch between the resolution. 0.5 means that the reduction ring is installed on the ring gauge. If you want to have the resolution 0.2 mm, you have to deinstall the reduction ring and use it without the ring. So in this case, for example, we use with the reduction ring installed 0.5. We switch to 0.5, then we go back to main. We say, okay, store profile on sensor again. Now we're storing the profile on the sensor. <clears throat> and after that, we will be able to use the precipitation channels. Close it. We open active channel list here. And we scroll down. And beginning with the channel 600 up to the channel 665, all these precipitation channels are available now. The last of the external sensors is our leaf wetness sensor here. This sensor will be connected directly to the WS sensor. And for that sensor you only can use the WS401 and the WS601. So this will not be connected in the cabinet. It will be connected directly in the funnel of the precipitation sensor of the WS401 or 601. I will show you that in a moment. So this is the leaf wetness sensor here and this will be connected directly to a WS sensor. And you can only use the WS601 and the WS401. That means with the precipitation funnel here. We use normally three wires for that, which are shield, red and white. And to enter the funnel we have here this inlet. You can open the sensor again and then you will go with the cable inside the sensor, like this. 
Inside the thermal we have now the cable here from the leaf wetness sensor and we have three screws which are used to connect the leaf wetness sensor. Screw number one is for the shield. Screw number two is for red, for the red wire and screw number three is for the white wire. And I will now connect these wires to the screws. So now we have connected the wires here to the screws and important is that the wires will not influence the tipping bucket. So please check the installation the right way like this so that there is no influence of the wires to the tipping bucket. After that you can close the tipping bucket and of course we will do another configuration. So now we will, I will show you how to configure the leaf wetness sensor. This is the last one of the three. Also again we have to go to the menu WSX UMB here. We will have the menu Rangosh. And the only thing which you need to enter is the leaf wetness threshold. The standard threshold is 580. To be sure that the threshold is the right one, normally you have to activate the uh, the leaf wetness measurement during dry conditions and normally you will get a let's say dry value and this value you have to add 50 and normally this is the leaf wetness threshold. After entering the right threshold here you go to main store profile on sensor now you store the profile on the sensor and close it and now using the active channel bottle button we will have the channels for the leaf wetness which are the channels from the channel number 710 up to 711 so 700, 710, 730, 750, 770 and 711 now you can use that one. So this was the procedure how to configure external sensors on the WSX. And of course, please inform yourself about the connection and about the configuration via UMB WSX manuals, of course, on the internet. So thank you very much for your interest and hope to see you next time again on Luft TV. Thank you very much.